You can link your Obsidian notes to just about anything by using Hookmark. Just invoke Hookmark in the context of any app using Control H. Here I have selected a file in the Finder. Do Control H to bring up Hookmark. And now I'm going to do Command C to copy or use this. And then in the Obsidian note, you simply do Command V to paste. And there's your link. It's a link to a file in this case. So I'm going to show you that this actually works. You can click on the link here and it opens the file in the default PDF reading app. You can repeat this with emails and tasks and all kinds of other objects. With Hookmark, you can set up bi-directional links between Obsidian Notes and any link-friendly resource by using Hookmark's copy link command in the context of the note and Hookmark's hook to copied link command in the context of the other resource. Let's see this in action where we hook i.e. bidirectionally link an Obsidian note to an email. So in the context of this Obsidian note, I'm going to invoke Hookmark with Control H, and I'm going to choose the copy link command. Now I'm going to go to Apple Mail, and on the Apple Mail side, I'm going to invoke Hookmark again. And this time, however, I'm going to choose the hook to copied link command. Now notice that a link to the Obsidian note has appeared on this side. I can double click on it, and lo and behold, it opens the Obsidian note. And if I invoke Hookmark with Control H on the Obsidian side, you'll see that there's a hook back to the original email right here. So that's a bidirectional link. The bidirectional links show up in the context of the Hookmark window in the context that you invoke it. So here, Apple Mail, Apple Mail, here, Obsidian Note, this is the Obsidian Note, has the same title. This reflects that. Suppose you want to take a note in Obsidian about a web page or PDF that you're reading. Without Hookmark, your notes are out of context. But with Hookmark, you can instantly create an Obsidian Note that is hooked, meaning bidirectionally linked, to what it's about. Here's how it works. In the app in which you're reading the PDF or web page, use Control H to invoke Hookmark. Click on the action button here, and then select hook to new dot dot dot, and then scroll down to Obsidian, hit the return key, and there you go. Notice that Hookmark has created this new Obsidian note and has named it in accordance with the title of the PDF that you are reading, and it has inserted a link back to the PDF, so when you click on that link, you get back to the PDF but it's also created a hook which bidirectionally links the Obsidian note to the PDF. So here I'm in the PDF, can go back to the Obsidian note, invoke Hookmark, and notice that this note here is connected to the PDF and you're off to the races. By default, Apple Notes is the app that is used by the hook to new command with command N, but you can make a different app the default note-taking app, including Obsidian. So click on the gear menu here and let's go to the settings. Okay, and under settings, we're going to click on the notes tab, which is already selected. And here, instead of selecting Apple Notes, we're going to scroll down to Obsidian and make Obsidian the default note taking app so that the next time that you want to create a note, you can just bring up Hookmark and do Command N or Hook to New Obsidian right here. Save yourself a step. Hookmark offers a third way of linking apart from pasted links and hooks. You can create .hookmark files in the Finder. They are like Finder aliases, except they are plain text and editable, containing a URL. Here's how you can create a .hookmark file. Invoke Hookmark with Control H. Click on the Action menu and select Make Hookmark File or use the keyboard shortcut. And there you go. A hookmark file has appeared in the finder, in the hookmark files folder. And if you double click on this, it will open the target of the link. These are like finder aliases, so you can rename them, you can move them around to your heart's content. But unlike finder aliases, these are plain text editable files, so you can go in and see what they point to. And you'll notice here, I opened this file in bbedit, and you notice that the file contains a link. You can replace that link with whatever you want. Could be a web page, could be any custom link or link to an Obsidian note. Now, suppose you want to browse all of the links that you created with Hookmark. Just bring up Hookmark with Control H and then click on the gear 
menu button here and choose search all bookmarks. You'll see all your bookmarks here and you can just type in Obsidian to find all the Obsidian bookmarks. Now most users won't need to think about this, but there are three different URL schemes you can use to integrate Hookmark with Obsidian. This setting, which you can only configure from the command line, determines the scheme of the URL that you get when you use Hookmark to copy a link in the context of Obsidian. By default, you get the Obsidian URL scheme, but the only problem with that scheme is if you rename the file, the Obsidian note, then prior links to that note will break. So if you want to avoid that, then you use the advanced URI, which is more robust, and that requires a plugin. If you want to install the advanced URI plugin, then go to Obsidian, click on the gear menu, and click on community plugins, turn on community plugins, and then you can browse for the plugin and look for advanced URI, and you'll find the plugin is right here. Then you simply install it. Then you need to go to the command line and paste this line here. Open the terminal and paste that line, and that will cause Hookmark to use the advanced URI plugin. And if you want to turn that off, you just write Obsidian default. Again, this is an advanced feature that most people don't need to concern themselves with. Finally, I'd like to point out that Hookmark is highly customizable. Just bring up Hookmark with Control H, and then from the gear menu here, you can look at the settings. So we have the settings here, and you notice the general settings has a lot of options, including configuring how this menu bar works, whether the linking plays linking sounds, there's various shortcuts that you can configure. If you don't like the default shortcuts, you can change them. There's lots of note-taking preferences. You can set your default email app. There's tagging preferences. There's an extensive script editor for those who know Apple Script. Hookmark can integrate with bookmarking services like Good Links, Instapaper, and Pinboard. And it can sync across all your devices. In this screencast, I have focused on linking your Obsidian notes, but Hookmark is much more general than that. Basically, you can link information from all kinds of link-friendly Mac apps. So you can check this web page out here to see all the different apps that are linkable and new apps are being added quite frequently. So download your free 30-day trial of Hookmark from hookproductivity.com and enjoy linking your Obsidian notes to just about anything.